Hello friends, uh, welcome to Jojo's Azure Learning YouTube channel. Um, hello friends, uh, today's video we will be talking about Azure Automation. How to start stop VMs during off hours. Uh, we will walk you through step by step. So please uh, uh, watch till the end. Uh, so it will going through step by step how we can automate uh, st starting and stopping the VMs during off hours. And this includes the WVD Azure Virtual Desktop Machines or it is the server or anything you don't want to use it after hours it will be a good option please keep watching okay, I, I logged into the uh, azure portal uh, portal.azure.com and i log with my account and uh, we're going to see how we can uh, deploy a solution that can shut down and start the vm automatically so uh, in, in this solution, actually, a uh, service, um, the SaaS service, it, it will it will deploy a logic apps, and it will deploy a function app, and it, it so let's see all together how it is uh, working. It's a very simple procedure. Um, you can just keep watching. So just go back and search here start, and you can see a start and stop, um, start and stop VM under documentation but uh, we are looking for something uh, on the marketplace so this one is the documentation if you want to go to i can put your link here and um, there is also a link here azure automation start stop during off hours you can watch that one as well and uh, now we will going to see you step by step you can see start and stop vms during off hours v2 click on that so this will bring up you this option. There is a two option start stop v2 and start stop v2 hyphen az. So az is uh, you can see in the plans. If we go back to the plans here, you can see the explanation for the software plan starts of v2. Uh, it's in a preview solution template uh, from the marketplace. And uh, az in the second option is for that includes the availability zone capabilities as well. So right now we just go with uh, this one for now and then just create it. Uh, it'll ask you a bunch of things. Um, you can see um, a region uh, by default is selected central US and you had to put the resource group name. You can put automation, automation function app. Uh, insights I can see uh, automation insights just to give the appropriate name that makes sense and uh, application insight uh, we can give it uh, same central yes storage also also it's creating a short account also automation you can put uh, storage account doesn't accept any hyphen or anything it always small letters and numbers and email address is not um, mandatory field you can see that it's not a mandatory you can skip that uh, next uh, review and create uh, it's a validation is failed you can click here the why validation is say oh this region has a quota of zero instances for your subscription selecting a different region that's good uh, validation is failed so we can give a different region and go back to east us and uh, this also maybe make it as east us and then uh, let's see this will uh, uh, pass through the validation oh that passed the validation so let's create i will post the video uh, because it takes a little bit time because it's going to start creating all the uh, resources uh, like logic app and the uh, function app and um, storage account etc so I'll post for a video, post the video for a, uh, maybe four to five minutes. So as you can see, the deployment is complete uh, successfully. Um, so you can see uh, in the deployment details, you can see that a resource group is created, uh, deployments, um, it's automation um, and work, it's creation a dashboard and things like that. So it's it's um, it's completed. So you go back to once it is completed, you can actually go back to the um, logic apps. And then uh, you can see um, 
it's it's created a bunch of uh, logic apps uh, order stop um, order stop um, we are not going to uh, work on it right now uh, we'll we'll see it in the next video it's like depends upon the cpu memory utilization you can actually sh shut down the vm and reduce the cost and um, schedule start we are interested in uh, schedule start and scheduled uh, stop these two options uh, let's go with the schedule start So we'll go back to the logic app designer. So once the logic app designer comes up, see this is the option you can actually do the recurrence when you want it to. This is where you specify what time you want to start the VM. All right, so um, it's, it's basically we will um, I think we'll go with the stop first so that because I think okay start is fine too. Uh, so it's right now 11 15 a.m. So central time is a Pacific time. Let's make it a central time. Uh, central is minus six. Central is minus six. UTC minus six. I mean, um, so hours we're going to put it like 11 20 and we'll, we'll say that. 11 meaning to 11 is meaning 11 because it's a.m. all right and then no 11 no let's 11 and then uh, make it uh, 25 by the time we configure everything it will be 25 every day save it and then here in the function tie try we are going to give it a um all right so this one we're going to select a different um, request body um, i will put the link in there so if you're going to go into the here if you go deploy start vm to Azure subscription go back all the way and you can see through this documentation it's saying how it is deployed as well but i'm just showing you and um, you can do multiple subscription overview uh, this is where we are designing it's all clear uh, one by this is the json script um, i'm interested in a specific vm this is this one is start uh, same thing it's adding in two subscription you can do a do two subscription and two resource group here see two resource groups rg1 and rg2 you can also do resource group level and then we can exclude one vm just one vm we needed so it's take all the resource all the vms in the resource group will shut down or stop stop the vm uh, this one you can also do a wildcard um, all right so, so this is what i was uh, interested in uh, let's copy this one and then um, I'm going into the back to this one and then I'm going to put paste here so here it's saying the VM list so I'm going to put the VM I wanted to do that so let's go back to portal .com. I have a test PM I created uh, we will uh, we'll see that we can um, start that uh, before going into that I will shut it down so this VM is um, test VM and I'm going to stop this VM all right and then I'm going to take the just you go back to here and then you can say JSON view so that you can get the actual copy to clipboard right then you can get that uh, VM list then you go back to here um, not that here again not here sorry here and you just have to take out this VM list from here and then you put that VM list take it out delete it and put control V paste it so what it is doing is it's going to start the VM we are not excluding anything the VM list is test DC1 so it will find the test DC1 and start it if it is stopped all right save it So successfully saved, but um, th this is all, all all it needs. Okay, 
and then if you go back you see here um, this this one is not enabled again by default you can see all of them as disabled right disabled disabled status so this is the one we're going to do it so it's you have to enable that so just enable this oh right, successfully enabled that's good we can also run a trigger you know you can just run a trigger and to see whether it is succeeded or not so it started refresh it doesn't take much time it succeeded so that's just a trigger uh, we can see whether it is um, anything changed okay still stop okay so we have scheduled for 1125 we can make it like 11 1125 it should supposed to uh, stop oh it's a uh, it's a uh, it's supposed to start it's already started the trigger what we did is like a test uh, but actually it is scheduled for 11 25 25 so if you go back to the your uh, this one and then you can see here um, again if you want to go back to the logic apps and look for that schedule start uh, if you see the logic app designer it says opening up and you can see the recurrence it's central time 11:25. Um, it's going to start. I'm going to make it like 11.24 and uh, save it. And then this one is uh, scheduled. And then what is supposed to do? It is going to start. Action is start and you can start. Let's pause. So, okay. yes, now it is um, 11.24 a.m. Uh, central time. And then you can see that the uh, preview uh, runs at 11.24. Uh, let's see what happens here, right? Uh, we can see, oh, it's already started. You can see that, right? 11.24, that's the one, right? If you click on it, you can see the details. Okay, it just uh, started, refresh. So do one thing, we're going to go back to the virtual machine. So virtual machine is, uh, what we are testing is test DC1. It's already started, it was stopped. So if you want to see, you can see the activity log and here it comes up. Um, it's automation, event triggered, start virtual machine. It's kind of failed. It started. That's interesting. Okay. It's actually started. Um, uh, it is even though it shows fail, but actually, I it's, it's, it's something. Um, we can actually trigger it one more time, but it's actually started the VM. So we can um, you can see that the, actually the VM is running. So you can go overview. The VM is running. So it's actually worked. Okay. So let's set the stop for now. Uh, we'll go back to the logic apps. And then select the stop for this time. Schedule stop. So here logic app designer. Uh, we can take the start and then take that same uh, and put it there. Or you can just fine. You can just. Um, go in there stop here it will be what we'll say same time central time so minus six and then here we are going to say 11 30 then 11 30 11 30 it will run save it and then here function we're going to Here we're going to put from the automation from here as well. You can just take this one and copy and then you can change it. That also works. Instead of start, you have to make it stop. So here you just have to paste it and then you change start to stop. And then instead of this one, 
make sure you have that codes and then can go back to this JSON here yeah you don't have to change anything because the VM name okay VM name you just have to get the VM name right so go in there virtual machine got it go back okay put it there and then save it oh we are right on time uh, you know 128 we have two more minutes so it's it's good so one thing you need to go you need to enable it you can also run a trigger to see how that succeed okay it looks succeeded so now this is stop action right so 1130 this vm is supposed to shop so virtual machine so it is running now so we'll just keep it here let's see when it will go and stop it automatically it's 1130 let's see what's happening to this one it's deallocating so the status is changed to deallocating so definitely that script is uh, the automation is working um, it's deallocating stopped so it did its job you can see go back let's see it's given error message or it is um, activity log no it's, it's worked see automation function uh, initiated even initiated by see if you do it by your name will come so it is automation so you can start it started accepted and started is successfully so there's a lot of option to see here in this also there is a dashboard you can see also um, uh, in the if you go back to the uh, resource groups there is a lot of other things you can see rg automation uh, show hidden types okay so there is application inside smart detection you can also send an alert um, we only did two of the, the options schedule stop and schedule start and this is also a dashboard uh, you can just click on the dashboard and if you go to the dashboard it will give you overall view past 24 hours uh, probably we want to make it UTC time to maybe make it uh, local time so you can see see it started three requests it's gonna have a dashboard what's happening the stop action start action uh, start 60% 40% all those things it will display as a dashboard and uh, go back to the logic apps there is some more options auto stop schedule sequence start sequence start is basically useful for like a sequence like a, let's say you want to shut down the vm first a database no first an application and then database and then vm like a sequentially we have to do it because if we without shutting down the database you shut down the vm what happens the database will be corrupted right so when you bring it up you cannot bring up the application server first so we need to bring up the first the uh, compute host uh, means the infrastructure vm and then bring up the database server so that they have a connectivity then you can bring up the application iis server so the sequence of this will be used so hope you guys are enjoyed uh, watching uh, understood how to reduce because there is a lot of uh, automation a lot of price will be reduced last uh, uh, month uh, we around 1.5 million uh, cost is reduced uh, just the automation this is my test account but uh, you know we have 1.5 million uh, cost reduction so i will put a separate video how we can actually reduce the cost there are three things we'll cover uh, please watch for that video and ultimately you can reduce at least 20 to 30 uh, percent reservation service plan or or uh, hybrid benefit all those i'll come to you thanks for watching please subscribe um, see you next time thank you